Hey guys, it's DJ Tamara back with you for another episode of Third Strike Rock. Hope you guys have been doing great. Hope you're ready for another show. I know I am. I've been super busy and excited to get back into the groove with you guys. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. We got lots in store for you. We've got an interview with me, yours truly, done by Drum and Rob. We also have lots of cool music, new and previously played. And we've got a reminder about the Build a Better Planet event that's coming up this Saturday in Houston that you do not want to miss. So stick around. We're going to have a great time and we're going to get right into some cool tunes. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was a different man, one that you would have wanted. But then I wouldn't be me. Then I wouldn't be me. Sometimes I a stronger man and someone that I belonged with then I wouldn't be free then I wouldn't be free 
heard a couple of my favorite artists on my show we kicked it off with eric berglund out of austin texas with a tune called acting awkward then we had Pature love right after that out of portland oregon with a song called band-aid and now for a station break have you ever heard of thrive do you want to know what thrive can do for you how about long-lasting natural energy or appetite control stress management mental clarity, metabolic support, joint support, and digestive and immune support. And the list goes on and on. Don't take our word for it. Try Thrive for yourself. If you are waiting for a sign, this is it. 
We were made to thrive, not just survive. Bethany Levins is a Lavelle Independent Brand Promoter. Contact her for more information or samples at bethanylevins at att.net or visit her website at www.happythrivers.le-vel.com.
This program was brought to you by K5 Himalayan Whiskey, a smooth, refreshing blend of the finest malt whiskeys and organic grains from the Kingdom of Bhutan. Grab a bottle of K5 and reach the peak of whiskey enjoyment this summer. Learn more at k5whiskey.com. That's k 5 w h i s k ycom Please enjoy K5 responsibly. All right, hope you guys enjoyed those last two tunes that we played. We had, kicking it off, Decadence by Anonymous by Nature out of New York City. We also had the Kevin Lucas Orchestra out of Carbondale, Illinois, with a tune called Echoes in the Sand.
should know by now your lips taste sweet and I surrender to the nectar that made me weep if you should ever walk out that door be sure you are my honey Slaves in love, we go hand in hand. Won't you take me to the promised land? If you should ever walk out that door, be sure you are my honey. You know by now your lips taste sweet. I surrender to the nectar that made me weep. If you should ever walk out that door, be sure you are my honey. Yeah, be sure you. My honey Are you looking to get bikini ready this summer? Tighten tone and firm in as little as 45 minutes with the It Works Wrap from Lindy Wraps You Skinny. With a botanically based formula, you'll see results and feel more confident. Visit LindyWrapsUSkinny.com or give Lindy a call or text at 210-324-9943 to start looking and feeling your very best today. All right, before that commercial, you heard a new band to my program. I'm so excited that they sent me some tunes. It's Ama Mia out of New York City with a song called From the Beginning. You're going to be hearing a lot more of them in the future as well on my program. We also had Brandon Broderick out of central New Jersey with a song called Honey. And now for a bit of music news. I'm sure that you all have heard about the lion that was killed named Cecil. Ted Nugent has come to the defense of the gentleman that killed the lion. Palmer, uh, who was the dentist that killed him, Walter Palmer, that is, he admitted to killing the lion, who was a national tourist attraction in Zimbabwe. And uh, he placed himself next to the animal that he slaughtered in some photos. According to accounts, Palmer paid 50000 to go big game hunting with two experts. And after luring the lion out of a protected area with meat, shot him with a bow and arrow. They then tracked the lion for 50 hours before they were able to put the creature out of its misery with a gun. Um, Ted Nugent has weighed in on the controversy on his Facebook page when he was asked what his thoughts were on Cecil the Lion and Walter Palmer. Uh, Ted Nugent replied, the whole story is a lie. It was a wild lion from a park where hunting is legal and essential beyond the park borders. All animals reproduce every year and would run out of room and food to live without hunting. He said he will write a full piece on, in his words, this joke, ASAP, God people are stupid. So everyone has their opinions and views on this. Certainly, if you have anything to weigh in on this, you can go onto our Facebook page for my program, which is facebook.com forward slash third strike rock. Look forward to hearing from you on this. You are 
you're smiling I reckon you crave a drink I watch you silently Without as much as a blink I am snake Closer to me if you wanna see me in full. I know warmth of the rock, I know smell and shade. But when birds fly over my head, pair of wings I wish I had, but I'm a snake. Closer to me if you wanna face me in full. Sometimes I wanna chase them away, other times wanna sing them a song Yet other times wanna crawl away and shed my skin before long But I am a snake And I always keep my cool Get closer to me If you wanna know me in full Still smiling, I guess you want to reply. Well, give me your hand, I will show you how a living tree dies. I'm a snake. I always kept my cool. Look in your palm. Now you've known me in full. Paz, paz. Now my heart's just beat for corruption. For corruption. 
Apariencia mentirosos que aparentan Sé lo que no son, perdónalo señor Ya nuestros corazones para que no reine el récord oh, Siento que pasa el tiempo Y la sonrisa se las lleva el viento El dolor, la angustia, el sufrimiento Que cada día llevamos por dentro yeah. The more that we choose them, they win The more that we fight them, they win The more that we curse them, they win The more that we hate them, they win
Have you heard of Tyra Beauty? Let me tell you about it. You know how some women wake up looking all refreshed and don't need any makeup? You know who I'm talking about. Those ladies with naturally rosy cheeks and sky-high cheekbones? Well, guess what? Tyra Beauty rep Courtney says she is not one of them. She paints her pretty on. She gives herself a tie over every single day. She believes natural beauty is kind of not fair, but she also believes makeup is the great beauty equalizer. Everyone deserves to look and feel fiercely beautiful. Tyra Beauty was created to give you the power to transform what we've got into what we want fast. Until now, quality makeup has been time-consuming, complicated, and pretty frustrating. Forget all that. Tyra created innovative, luxurious, and easy-to-use glide-on products to help you look and feel your fiercest in just minutes. Try the two, four, or six-minute makeup to enhance your best features and look fabulous in minutes. If you would like to find out how to order products and also become a member of the Founders Club for this up-and-coming company by Tyra Banks, please visit www.tyra.com forward slash Courtney, which is spelled C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y 8-2. Hope to see you there. All right, folks, and the tunes that you heard before that little break was we kicked it off with I Am Snake by Spiky Apples out of Travis Staten Island. We also heard right after that uh, the song called No More by Suave. They are out of Heidelberg, Germany. Definitely one of my favorite artists on our program. And we have uh, some new music um, I don't think we've played before. It was a song called Perfume by Elise out of Houston. They were actually a band that played at the Build a Better Planet showcase um, at the House of Blues in Houston back in, I believe it was in April. All right, so we are going to get right into the portion of my show that I really enjoy where I have an interview, a station ID, and a song from an artist. This time, I decided to go ahead and have myself interviewed. I would imagine some of you might want to know a little bit more about me as your Third Strike Rock host, and I thought it would be fun. I didn't have an interview scheduled for the show and wanted to get one cranked out to you guys so that you wouldn't have to wait any longer. So we are going to get right into this with my station ID for my show, my interview of myself that was done by Drum and Rob, and I wrapped it up with a song from Mystic Rhythms, uh, Drum and Rob's project, and the song is called Quasar, just because I wanted to play one of my favorite tunes that I enjoy from the tunes that I play on my show, and and that's a really cool one that I actually have never played on my program, so it it was a great opportunity for me to get this out there to you. So stick around. We've got much more to come after that. Enjoy this interview and the tune, and we'll be back. This is Tammy, otherwise known as DJ Tamara, and you are listening to Third Strike Rock, my show. Check it out. All right, guys, this is DJ Tamara. This is my favorite part of my show where I have an interview. I've got some really cool upcoming interviews on future shows, and today uh, I am going to have Drummond Rob interview me. Um, There might be some stuff that you might want to know about me, why I got started with the Third Strike Rock show, and and other different things that you might want to know. So just kick back and relax and enjoy this. Take it away, Drum and Rob. Hey, gang, how y'all doing? This is Drum and Rob coming at you live from the studios here at Third Strike Rock. All right. Uh, We're going to get right into it. Um... Tammy, how are you doing today? I'm good, Rob. I'm good. This is exciting to be interviewed on my own show. <laughs> oh, awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, a lot of listeners out there that want to know, how did you get started in being a DJ and why? Well, you know, it was about, uh, I guess, a little over a year ago when my good friend uh, Soledad Heron, that uh, is the owner of uh, Build a Better Planet and the founder Um, She approached me via a phone call and asked me if I would like to have my own radio show with Third Strike Rock that they had just acquired at that time. They had acquired Third Strike Radio and they were um, basically reassessing all the shows and and seeing what kind of different formats they could have and different DJs they could acquire. So when she approached me about it, I was pretty overwhelmed with the thought of doing it because I had never done um, a, a, a music radio show. I have done uh, other types of radio shows, but not even many of those either. 
So it was an overwhelming idea to me because I didn't really know how, like how to do it, but I was definitely open and I said, yeah, let's move forward. So it was a bit of a challenge when you started then um, with the radio show. Yes, well thanks to some help from people <laughs> around me like Drum and Rob here, yours truly, and also uh, with Soledad uh, via the internet, thank God, they were able to give me the training that I needed um, to figure out how to, to use different programs like Audacity and things like that so that I can create my show. Excellent, excellent. Um, uh, you mentioned Build a Better Planet. Can you tell us a little bit about them and what they do, what they stand for? Build a Better Planet is an organization based out of New York City, and, and again, it's, it was founded by Soledad uh, Heron, and um, I'm not exactly sure when it was founded, but she has uh, different radio programs, one of them being uh, Green Living, and the organization um, promotes all types of different businesses and organizations that promote sustainable living. Um, also, there's different workshops that are done and fundraisers throughout the nation. And uh, uh, we also um, have scholarships that we give to, to kids for uh, college programs as well. Okay, okay. Um, besides being a DJ, um, what else are you involved in? Well, I like when people ask me that because I have people that say, what do you do full time? And I tell them, I don't do anything full time. I actually got that line from a lady that uh, I met at a networking party, I believe, several uh, weeks ago or maybe a month ago. And I asked her what she did full time. And that was her answer, that she doesn't do anything full time. So I've, I've got a lot of interests and passions. And um, so I just kind of... Every day I wake up, it's a it's a new day, and it's something different for me. Awesome, awesome. Um, what are some of your goals, uh, I guess, for Third Strike Rock and Build a Better Planet? Um, my goal for Third Strike Rock would be to get more listeners. Uh, I really appreciate all the listeners that we've got right now, but, you know, with any program or, or TV show or radio show or whatever, you're always trying to build your fan base, so... I, I would like to get more listeners. I would definitely like to get more uh, musicians sending me music. Um, that includes people that I currently play and uh, musicians that I haven't played yet. And as far as any goals with Build a Better Planet, I just would like to get more involved in the events that happen around the country. But um, funds are limited right now, so the events that I try to go to are the ones that are in Texas. Okay, okay. Go Texas. What is the funniest thing that has ever happened to you as a DJ? Oh God, the funniest thing? Well, it's both the funniest and the most frustrating because it was a show that I had put together and I, I don't remember when it was, but it was the... I think I was almost pretty much done with it, and instead of saving it like I was supposed to, I clicked X on the program and basically lost my entire show. So that was funny now, but not funny then. <laughs> yeah, I could see how that would be an issue. Uh, what other bands and artists would you like to interview on your show? Um, Wow, you know, if I would really love to interview Duran Duran. Uh, oh, yes. It feels like such a long shot because they're, you know, they're uh, the types of interviews they get um, are probably on a larger scale than what my show is currently. Um, but they are definitely my biggest musical inspiration, and it would be an honor to be able to interview them. Um, maybe someday I can. Um, we have reached out to their to their press before and asked them, so we'll see. Um, I just a lot of a lot of local artists. I mean, I, I'm just really finding that doing these interviews with the local artists, including you know here in the Austin and Clean area, and just around the nation. You just learn a lot about them, and um, it just it kind of helps you when you listen to their music to have a deeper understanding 
of what they're doing. So I'm pretty much open to any band or artist that wants to be interviewed on my show. Awesome, awesome. You know, hopefully some of you out there listening will send your music in, and who knows, you might get interviewed soon. Exactly. Um, you know, there's always that possibility. Uh, you mentioned earlier uh, some events that Build a Better Planet does around the country and, and things of that nature. Um, are there any uh, events or radio remotes that uh, you're participating in uh, currently or you know, will be participating in soon? Uh, yes, there's an event this coming Saturday in Houston, uh, which I will be doing an official announcement for later on in the program as well to remind everyone. Uh, and I'll give you all the details, but basically it's going to be in Houston on Saturday at uh, Herman Park Golf Course, I believe. And uh, we are going to uh, have people out there golfing and having uh, lunch. And um, also we're going to have a bunch of VIP bags from vendors across the nation that have submitted their, their uh, samples to us for the bags. And uh, just have a good time. So uh, be listening later on in the show and I will have the official announcement about that with more details and how you can go to the link the Facebook event link and RSVP if you'd like to come okay on that note would you ever consider doing an interview of, an, of a local artist during one of these live events you know that's a really good question I would and the reason why I would is because I when I do my interviews on my show I like to be spontaneous. I don't really like to have things scripted out, although there are certain questions that are pretty standard that I just remember or I might jot down, and there may be something in particular that I want to know about the band or get them to talk about that I know about them already, but um, most of the time I like it to be pretty free-flowing, so I would be willing to do that. Free-flowing. Uh, how do you feel about like censorship uh, for music and you know, just all over uh, censor censorship uh, of some of these artists that, uh, you know, that are currently uh, releasing albums? You know, that's a really good question because I listen to the radio uh, from time to time. I'm not a big, you know, regular radio fan because I don't, I'm not a big fan of the music, but I'll hear a commercial for a, a vibrator that a girl can use in her car. I'm not kidding. And, but then, you know, there's a, there's a word that you can't say in a song. So it's just, I, I feel like the censorship, it's really um, not very well balanced. And I think if we're going to, you know, censor a, a certain word in a song, well, then we shouldn't have commercials for vibrators on the radio during peak hours of the day either. I mean, we've got to have some kind of common ground and common sense with our censorship. So if there is going to be that, then it needs to make more sense to me, I think, than it does now. Okay, okay. On the tales of censorship, do you have a favorite joke that you can tell on the radio? Oh, God. I am the absolute, I can't believe you asked me that. I am the absolute worst joke teller ever. Because what I used to work at a tire store when I was a teenager, and every time I would tell a joke, I would always forget the punchline. And the guys in the shop would get mad and say, you know, why do you even bother telling a joke when you can't remember the punchline? It's, it's, like, it's like total like a killjoy. So the only stupid joke I know is just a horse walks into a bar and the bartender says, why the long face? Ha ha ha. That's it. That's all I, that's it. I, and I can't, I can't remember anything past like two sentences, so. Thanks, Rob. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's bring this back. Um, do you have a favorite artist or band you like to play or listen to? Oh, I do, I do. You know, I've been so blessed and lucky to get the musicians that I've had on my show to submit their information to me. And uh, I'm so thankful that Soledad has really, you know, been pounding the pavement talking to these bands to get the music over. Um, uh, I really enjoy Sharp Star uh, a lot. I interviewed them recently. 
Um, I like uh, The Prettiest Meltdown, although from what I understand they're no longer together. Um, and uh, well, I enjoy Mystic Rhythms, which is, mm. is your project that you do. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love your music, very techno. Mm. Um, but you know, uh, there's so many. Uh, those are just a few that really stand out to me right now. Okay, and uh, you know, as being involved with Build a Better Planet and Third Strike of Rock, how, how has that affected you, um, you know, being with these organizations? Oh, well, you know, being a part of Build a Better Planet has been <clears throat> just a huge door opener for me, um, just to see that there really is a huge movement out there for, um, you know, people that are looking for products and services that promote sustainability. I mean, I've been a part of a direct sales company for years that, you know, that, that promotes that, but like an organization like this, I've never really directly been a part of, so it's been really nice, and uh, definitely under, you know, the Soledad's leadership, it's been an honor to be a part of that with her. And as far as um, how Third Strike Rock has affected me, it's just been really cool to connect with musicians all over the nation, where I would, I mean, if I wasn't doing this show, I wouldn't have a, a way to do that. So it's, it's cool, as a musician myself, it's cool to connect with other musicians and kind of share some of their frustrations that they might have in being a musician and trying to be a musician and, you know, help them promote their music because I, I know how hard that can be sometimes. Yeah, and I know that you're part of uh, the band Communique. How is that, you know, what, what's going on with that? Well, our band Communique, we, um, we've kind of sort of got our guitar player back. We're not really um, full-fledged, full-blown looking for a tour or anything like that, but but we at least have the capacity to play some shows uh, soon uh, if we want to, and uh, we're looking to do some recording. That's probably going to be the first step we're going to do now that we are working with our guitar player again. Um, is to do some recording soon, just so that we can have um, some new recordings of our material. Awesome, awesome. Well, that sounds great. Uh, so I guess we'll be uh, we'll be looking out for some new stuff coming from you know from some of these bands, and you know seeing what uh, what's next on the horizon for DJ Tamara. Yeah, that sounds great. And I know I always close out each of my interviews with a song. So the, the song that I wanted to close this one out with today is a song of yours. Oh, um, okay. So just kind of, you know, in honor of you interviewing me, but also because your music is uh, some of the, like I said earlier, some of my favorite music that I play. Um, Thank you. And I'm not being biased or anything, maybe, no, um, but I just really enjoy it. So we're going to play a song called Quasar by Mystic Rhythms at the end of this interview. So thanks, guys. I hope you, you have enjoyed this interview with me. And uh, don't go anywhere. We've got a lot more great music to come, including this song, again, by Mystic Rhythms called Quasar.
We had kicking off that set of two songs. We had the Academics out of Brooklyn, New York, with a song called River Song. And then we had Chase Springer wrapping that up with a tune entitled Six Pack Kiss. And now for the section of my show called Did You Know? Did you know that this week is Satchmo Week? What is Satchmo Week? Well, when the city of New Orleans was planning a tribute to one of its most famous native sons, the late Louis Satchmo Armstrong, on the centennial of his birth, they had no way of knowing how successful such an event would be. It started back in the summer of 2001, and since then it's been so successful that it has been an annual three-day event held on the first weekend of August every year since. It's sponsored by French Quarter Festivals Incorporated and has, let's see, live bands on two different stages starring some of New Orleans' top musicians. And many of them will pay their tributes to Armstrong and his music. If you want to find out more, do a search on Google for the event. On the Record is a weekly one-hour podcast that airs on the EWN Radio Network and Blog Talk Radio. Featuring host Ashram Lux Lucis. On the Record features mentor style interviews with some of the most prominent and successful women in music and entertainment. The show is not about the next movie or album release, promotional sound bites, or who's dating who. This is about the incredible journey these women took to get to where they are today. Successful celebrities are successful because at some point they realized they were a business and they made a choice to become an entrepreneur. And more than just celebrities, The show also explores the lives of business executives, directors, producers, agents, managers, movers and shakers, and reveals how entrepreneurship led their journey down the road to success. Tune in Mondays, 5 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, on the EWN Radio Network, Blog Talk Radio, on the record. Bye. 
called Three Ladies. He is out of Austin, Texas, and a very dear friend of mine. Hope that you all enjoyed that. We had an interview with him a while back and hope that you all heard it. Don't forget, all of our shows are archived on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and look up Third Strike Radio, and you'll find all the Third Strike rock shows that have ever been done. And I want to give a shout out to all my sponsors, advertisers,
advisors that are on our program. We've been excited to get some new ones. Thank you so much. And want to make an announcement for the Build a Better Planet event that's coming up this Saturday. We've been talking about it for a while, and now it's just a few days away. It's called Going Green on the Green. It's this Saturday, August 1st, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. It will be at Herman Park golf course. Why that is a tongue twister for me, I don't know, but I'm glad it finally came out right, this take. Okay, and uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be golfing. Yes, we will be golfing. It is a benefit for Build a Better Planet um, and Third Strike Rock and Third Strike Radio. There will be a continental breakfast. Um, the winners will be announced over lunch. And also um, there will be a VIP bag that each person that is involved with the golfing event uh, that participates will get to go home with. And I just want to give a quick shout out to all the vendors that will be in the bags. We have advocates Care by Kimberly Van Horn Talbert. We've got Avon with Betsy Magard. Discount Travel Vacation with Robert Hernandez Jr. We have Dotera by Elva Fell. It Works by Gabby Esparza. Jamberry by Courtney Garcia. Pink Zebra from Stevie Raybach. Premier Designs from April Nori. Rodden and Fields with Ashley Bell. Sensi with Lindsay Williams. Splendid Life. With Megan Clark, Thrive Lavelle with Courtney Garcia, Tracy Lynn Jewelry by yours truly, Tammy Markham, and lastly, Tyra with Courtney Garcia. And those are all representatives of those businesses for the VIP bag samples that they're contributing. So thank you so much, each one of you, for contributing your samples and participating in this awesome event. Hope to see you all there. If you want to find out, more information, uh, which pretty much everything is in that announcement. But if you want to take a look at the details, just go to Facebook under events and type in going green on the green. Again, that's at Herman Park Golf Course in Houston this Saturday. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up in a second. Don't forget if you are interested in becoming a, an advertiser or a sponsor of our program, send me an email to B A B P Promotions at gmail.com and in addition if you are an artist a band of any type and you would like to have your music played on my show i would welcome the opportunity to do that make sure to send me a broadcast quality recording so that we can make sure that your music sounds the best it possibly can on my program and send that as well in an mp3 format to the same email address send me a link to your band's website as well so i can check you out and don't forget all of the artists that I play on my program are on Facebook. Every one of uh, the bands that I play has a Facebook page. So don't forget to go to their pages, click like, show them some love. And don't forget to share our uh, Third Strike Rock Facebook page and get us some more listeners. Once again, I appreciate all my returning listeners and anyone new here. And we are going to wrap up the show with a song from Jason Ewald called Your Jesus. Thanks again for listening and rock on.
Having so many different colors How a man can love a man All I am